Hey everyone, Andrew here. Sorry it's a bit late, but I'm finally gonna do my top five Friday today. So what's the top five today? Well, since I reviewed a guy who went to Disney on Wednesday, I also I need to, I also got an announcement. I also got an announcement. The Amigo Amigo little thing meet and greet barely went out well, didn't get any. So we're gonna try again on Monday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time under YouTuber Critic. And yeah, that's all I got. So what's my top five today? Well, since like I said, since I reviewed a guy who goes to Disney sometimes on Wednesday, I'll be doing a review of something Disney related this week. Like I'll be doing top five of seven Disney this week. And what's today's top five? Well, Disney sequels, of course. And I'm listing the ones that I like the most, not the ones I hate. You may be thinking, how are there good Disney sequels, man? They're all crappy ass. Ah, ah, don't even finish that sentence. There are actually good Disney sequels out there, and you barely even know it. So, what are my top five favorite sequels? Let's find out. Number five! Number five on the list is Tron Legacy. You may be laughing right now, thinking, Tron Legacy? Seriously? That is not a sequel. B oh, but it is. <laughs> Ever play Kingdom Hearts 2? Yeah, it, there's a world called Space Paranoids where you go against the MCP. And you may be thinking, Disney did something about Tron before? Tron Legacy? Yes, they managed to do Tron Legacy in the 3DS game. But hey, what the heck? So, so, yeah. Is it better? I haven't actually seen the first Tron, but I heard bad reviews about it. I actually tried to check out some scenes of it. Show some crappy CGI. So yeah, I think it's way better. Let's continue. Number four. Number four on my list is the Little Mermaid. Sorry, the Little Mermaid 2: Return to the Sea. It's a well. I might be reviewing it in the future, but why do I like this movie? Well, we get introduced to some interesting characters, and there's more comic relief than just like. All the side characters who are supposed to be like important characters as well to be well, so, well, comic relief. Like, like side characters are comic relief sometimes, and they managed to do that with Tip and Dash. The ah, God, I don't even want to say it. it's just kind of annoying. But is it better than the first and the prequel? of the first. Yeah, I haven't seen the prequel, but I have to say it's a tad bit better. I'll go into full detail when I review it. Number three! Number three on my list? Well, Return to Neverland. What's this sequel of? Believe it or not, Peter Pan. That's right, we waited many, many, many years for a sequel, and we finally got it. So it seems like things went a little bleh with it a bit. So you, we, it's kind of good, it's good, but is it better than the first? No. So yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let's continue. Number two. Number two on my list is actually well, Toy Story three. And yes, I'll be including Pixar in this list. So, what makes it better than the first two? Well, we see what actually... We actually see Andy grow up during the beginning of the film and actually have more villains than any other Pixar film. Which is kind of cool. So, so yeah. Check it out. Uh, that medal you saw... Uh, I got that during graduation. Just a little sign note. I'm sorry for swinging around. I had to hear <laughs> But, I gotta give out an honorable mention to, uh, Toy Story 2. Because, well, it's actually good. It was actually a good movie. A bit better than the first, but not that good. 
But what's number one? Number one! Sorry, I can't resist doing that. It's The Lion King 2 Simba's Pride. I'll go into full detail on a later date, but it's like The Lion King. It's a William Shakespeare style story, but with another one. It's not Hamlet, but Romeo and Juliet. So, uh, yeah, I, is it better than the first? Mm, meh, I think it's kind of the same. But, I, like I said, I'll go into full detail on a later day. <sighs> you know, I might be doing Disney Month, so, so yeah. Put a comment below for what top five I should do next week. And, and I'll see you guys next time. And also, make sure you check out my Tommy Debris Day review. I still have 16 views. Why do people just don't understand some important YouTubers that come to Florida? Well, well guys, see you around. This is Andrew Joy, the YouTuber critic, signing out. And cut. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, but I got another announcement. Whew. You guys have been actually, well, Last week's video, YouTuber critic, uh, the, the YouTuber portion, has actually driven me mad. Can't you just, just put likes on the, if you agree with some of these YouTubers, and just place a comment down on the below that video for what YouTuber you would like to see? Come on, I might be trying to do fans versus Andrew with WWE 13, and you got it, but to choose which YouTuber I could review, so just... You guys are driving me at so so just do the likes or else I'll be doing fans versus Andrew on Thursday to do YouTuber critic uh if either it's gonna be my choosing or yours. So yeah, that's my announcement and remember, please comment below for the next top five you want me to do next. And nothing drug related, please. I want to make sure this channel is family friendly. So, uh, the rant is a bit PG-13 sometimes, so you like my Battleground rant of last Monday? Yeah. So, I'll see you guys on Monday with my rant. What am I going to be ranting about? You'll find out. This is Andrew Jordan, signing out.